back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. This new band, I love their name. What's the name? Axe Wound. Very clever. It's female, that, right? Is that a good name? They're female, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it's not an Axe Wound. <laughs> it's not an Axe Wound. And their, and, their, and their side project is not Taco. Uh. <laughs> I'm serious. I thought they were with the female. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a new band featuring <laughs> members of Bullet for My Valentine, Cancer Bats. What? I think I wrote Glamour. Flamingos? Glam of the Glamour of the Kill. I thought that's Flamingos of the Kill. I think Flamingos was a great movie, though. <laughs> I already forgot what I wrote. Rise to Roman, or Rise to Remain, and Pit Shifter. And, uh, the band's, like, much less both My Valentine and more like Pantera, Slipknot, like, Iowa era. Okay. So I said, I gotta hear this because, you know, both My Valentine, what kind of thing, you know, it's Axe Wound has a really, sounds really, like, brutal. The name itself, yeah. It right. Lend, it lends a listener to already believe, say, okay, it's gonna be something heavy. Right, and then you in hear both My Valentine, you're like, uh... Yeah, I'll like, in comparison to, like, all the bands listed, I mean, Pitch Shifter, I, it's the only one I'm really familiar with out of them. Just and they're not a brutal metal band. Exactly. Excuse me, and the only reason because of that is because they of played huge, Fest. And not even that, uh, they did a split with uh, Biohazard many, oh. many moons ago, and I'm a huge Biohazard fan. So that's the only reason I'm even familiar with them, but I'm not really fond of them, to be honest. Well, Bull for My Valentine, what tour was that? Uh, they opened up for Iron Maiden. Uh, I think that was when they did the Matter of Life and Death album in its entirety. Oh, did not catch them at that show. I did them. Unfortunately, <laughs> did you see? Did you see no. Bullet for My Valentine? No, we just drank in the parking lot. Well, oh, so I mean, yeah, I did the same thing. Yeah. Like, and then, but for Iron Maiden, like, there's more people in the corridors than there was in the arena. I was just like, "How long is this fucking album?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, of course, the then they, yeah. And then the song "Fear the Dark" that most people always sit down during, everyone stood up for. <laughs> it's like, yeah, something old. <laughs> Uh, nothing against uh, Matter of Life and Death. It is a good record for... Not uh, live good, in like, its entirety. Exactly. Especially because they did trick fans in that one. They announced uh, two weeks before the tour even launched. Uh, once all dates were sold out, that's what they were doing. It's like, that's that's a really shitty scheme to do. Yeah. If they announced it from the get-go, I mean... No offense to you guys here, but you guys got the out of here, so I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, in that regard, like, that's kind of shady, though, you know? Mm -hmm. But when I, I, when I saw it, both for my Valentine, um, I thought they were like probably like a, like a really cheesy band. And then I actually saw them because I took my daughter to, I talked about this in another show, but we took my daughter to see, to see Warp Tour. Mm -hmm. And I saw a lot of the bands and I'm like, both for my Valentine, okay, they, they kind of play metal. Let me go check them out. They were like way heavier in concert. Except, the only thing is they, they, they Except were, is a great band, by the way. Yeah, except it's a great band. But yeah, so uh, they're, they're... Different they're, except, but... Both my Valentine's not a bad band. I'm going to stand up for them. I know I got shit for it before, but... Did you catch... Uh, they're not bad. Was Bad Religion at that show by any chance? Did they Warped Tour? I did see a little bit of that, yep. Bad Religion yeah, was at that. once. Only like maybe half their set at a Warped Tour many, many minutes ago, but always loved those guys. Yeah, we had fun. I mean, like, I took... I went with my kids, so I took my... My son, and it was like his, like probably his first con real concert. Nice. And then you know he was excited because he got to meet a lot of people, and they were signing autographs. Was it the stuff. convention hall in Esbury? Uh, no, it was at uh, what's Camden? it? Camden. Camden. Camden Waterfront. Oh, I didn't realize they moved it. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it was a good time. I think. Yeah, I had a good time. Good deal. So uh, actually, it should be interesting. I actually listened to a little bit of it, and it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was. It is very like very Iowish. Like, you know, if you ever heard the Slipknot out of Iowa, it's I, like, I, heavier, I, yeah. I'll be honest, I liked Slipknot before they got signed, before the self-titled, like when they were more like Jazz Fusion stuff. Right. And so I thought that was pretty cool at that point, but there was a couple songs of the first record, so okay, it's more, I can get into it a little bit, but it was only like a quarter of the song. And it's like, okay, well, by the time Iowa came out, I checked out a couple of the songs just out of curiosity. It's like, this ain't for me, unfortunately. But, I mean, obviously, people like him, and I respect yeah. him for that, because if even one person likes him, they're doing something right. The clown had a crush on my wife. Yeah? Yeah, we were at, we were at Ozfest, and he was like, we are taking pictures, and the, and the clown was all staring at Maria, and he was grabbing <laughs> his crotch, he's like, hey, he wanted, he wanted a piece of that ace. <laughs> Maria, Maria, at one, at one show... Was it uh, Homie the Clown? No, it was him. <laughs> at one show, Maria got hit on by, uh, by the clown, Sully, from mm -hmm. Godsmack. And Ozzy... Before he was crying from, uh... Nikki Six? Oh, yeah, before that. And, yeah. and, and uh... And Sully and, uh... Ozzy gave Maria the once-over. Yeah. He gave her one of those... Up-and-down looks like, hey, what's See, happening? 
I'm a believer. I ain't no deceiver. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we have on Axe Wound. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>